Rectify 11 is a custom Windows version that aims to fix inconsistent Windows 11 UI and it also provides overall less bloated Windows 11 experience. In this video I will go through the installation of Rectify 11 and I will also show you some major changes made to the Windows 11 UI compared to the official Windows 11. So this is their official website and is currently under the maintenance because I believe they are making the version 3.0 of the Rectify 11 and hopefully they will release it on this website. So this is why this site is currently under the maintenance. If I focus right now on the Rectify 11 installer on the GitHub. So this is basically their official Rectify installer, which we will use to install Rectify 11 on this virtual machine. Go to this releases tab and here you will see that we have the version 3.0, which is currently in release preview stage and it's quite buggy and you do not use it on your main PC. And also the code was apparently a mess and has also been rewritten. Down below we have the stable version of the Rectify 11, currently this version so 2.9 and some numbers behind. So this is the version that I recommend if you will use this Rectify 11 ISO or modified Windows 11 for your main system. But today I will mainly focus on Rectify 11 3.0 in release preview stage. So let's talk about how to install this kind of modified Windows 11. So here we have three installers, basically three exe files, VC Redist, Windows Desktop and Rectify 11 installer. Make sure that you install those three files before actually launching the Rectify 11 installer exe file. I already have this three exe files right here. And right now I will install first VC Redist, then Windows Desktop Runtime, and then we are going to focus on Rectify 11 installer. So here we have the Rectify 11 setup. First option is update or install now. And then we have uninstall Rectify 11. First, I will click update or install now, click agree. And here we have two major options. Safe installation, which is recommended if you play games with anti-cheat, of course, and then full installation, for example, if you want more consistent OS. Here I will click full installation to see all of the UI changes which are made to the Windows 11. Then I will click next. And here you can pick three themes, light, dark or dark with Mika. And here I'll just pick the last one, which is also selected by default. Click next. And here we have two options, select your desired desktop experience. So Windows 10 rounded experience or Windows 11 by default. Here I will just click Windows 11 by default. Then we have also two options, extend Mika to explore navigation bar. And also we can enable Windows 10 taskbar on Windows 11, which I will also click right now. So click next right now. And here we are going to install Rectify 11. Your computer will restart. And then we are going to take a look at the changes being made to the Windows 11 with Rectify 11. So the Rectify 11 installation was successful. As you see, it applied a custom theme to our Windows 11. And here we have a custom mouse cursor, Windows 11 rectified. So at the bottom, we have a brand new program called Mika for everyone. So this will add a Mika effect to the applications which are supported by Mika. Or you can also change this effect to whatever, for example, to the acrylic. So at the bottom, we have also a brand new taskbar from Windows 11. And if I right click on it, we have a brand new context menu with the task manager. So this wasn't previously 
um, available to Windows 11 by default. And we also have here properties. So here we have properties for, I believe, program called Explorer Patcher, which is also available standalone on GitHub as well. So here we can change a few more settings, just like Stocks Bar style, we can change it to Windows 11, but I won't go through this application because I already made a separate in-depth video for this specific application and uh, you can also watch it right now at the top should be a black card so you can click on it and uh, yeah very nice taskbar with the start menu and the taskbar settings or tweaks let's take a look right now also at the right click on the context menu on the desktop we also have a few more options and i also think that it's quite more responsive than the default context menu on windows 11. Here we also have uh, more options and so and so on. Let's take a look at the Windows version. So WinWare, let's take a look at the application. So here we have a redesigned WinWare application. It's nothing special, but here is still some nice effect being added to this specific application. And this is pretty much it. Let's also take a look at the file explorer. So here we also have a brand new effect added to this. And here we also have the accent color also added to this bar right here. And uh, yeah, very really nice looking UI overall. But if we take a look, for example, to the control panel, so it has a brand new icon, but here we can see where this Rectify 11 falls apart kinda because this is still in the release preview channel or release preview stage, I believe. And this is where it actually lacks. So here we have a white background with the dark theme. This is something that shouldn't be here. And hopefully this will be also solved in the next upcoming releases for the Rectify 11, because I already made a separate video on the older release of the Rectify 11 and the UI was much, much more consistent. So here we have some of the major UI changes which are right now available to the Rectify 11 users. So how do you uninstall this Rectify 11? So basically with the installer which was used to install Rectify 11, we can open it once again, click yes right here. And here it should says uninstall Rectify 11. So this will basically remove everything that was added to the Windows 11 and it will restore the original look to Windows 11 by default. Right now let's talk about should you use Rectify 11. My opinion is that it's quite subjective. You can also achieve all of these performance tweaks and also the look tweaks with standalone programs. Just like this is Win 11 offers a lot more customization and as I said before it also adds Explorer Patcher to the system so you can also install this one by yourself without actually installing Rectify 11. So these are some of the trade-offs that you need to be careful for. And also I believe that the major upgrades for the Windows 11 can actually break the Rectify 11 modifications. So you are also quite restricted with the updates as well. So this is my opinion on the Rectify 11. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video about it. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And also you can buy me a coffee on coffee.com link in video description as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have an amazing rest of your day. See you guys soon in the next video and peace.